Hey guys, today I wanted to film a little vlog about my daily life I don't know who cares about it, but I guess fake it till you make it First things first, I'm gonna make myself a nice latte It's essential for my morning If I don't drink it, then I might as well cancel the day Because... <sighs> By the way, I got this coffee machine on my 23rd birthday and I feel like you're officially an adult when you start asking for things like coffee machine or vacuum cleaner for your birthday instead of like makeup and clothes, you know. And why is this open? It gives me anxiety. I drink the most basic coffee ever. It's from Starbucks. That's because I just recently started making my own coffee. So if you guys have any better advice, on what coffee I should drink, let me know in the comments. It tastes fine for me, but I feel like I could do better, you know? I feel like I could improve my taste buds. Well, let me just clean this thing real quick. By the way, guys, look at my cup. It's so cute, I got it on Firm Living. And if there's something you should know about me is that I'm a sucker for cute home decor. And that's one thing I like to spend my money on. Like, on other things I like to save, but like home decor, I just can't resist. I feel like it's time to take these out. Now I'm gonna add some almond milk, it's my favorite. Funny story by the way, I used to love coconut milk and before I had this coffee machine, I would go to Starbucks and ask for like ice latte with coconut milk and every time I would say the word coconut, they would either go silent on me or just laugh straight to my face. <laughs> And I wouldn't understand like why, what is wrong with the word coconut? I probably pronounce it wrong, but I honestly generally don't know why is it so funny. That just made me feel awkward and I never said it again and I decided to go with almond milk instead, even though I never tried it before. But then I found out that almond milk is actually better for me. I like it more, so perks for me. I'm gonna add some ice to my ice latte. In case you didn't know, in order to make an ice latte, you'll need some ice. See, every day you learn something new. Did you guys notice how you become smarter when you watch my channel? It's ready and it looks so cute. Look at this. Look at this. Aesthetically pleasing. That's how I like my food and everything around me. So today I plan to kind of like clean and declutter my apartment and my wardrobe is the worst like I literally have no more space in there anymore and all the new stuff I get are on the floor because I just don't have space anymore so I decided that's it like literally all the unnecessary stuff in my apartment are choking me like I can't take it anymore I guess I changed as a person and I want to live a more minimalistic lifestyle and I want to get rid of all the stuff that I don't need so that's what I'm gonna do today just kind of like organize and sort out the clothes that I don't wear and donate them or sell them to the vintage store or thrift stores whatever by the way guys not that I have to but I wanted to mention that I wasn't consistent I would disappear a lot and then I would do a lot of sponsored content but just wanted to say that when I started my English channel I didn't think it would take over so fast like my first video literally got 18 million views like who does that because <laughs> I was not ready for all this responsibility and I guess when it happened the standards were so high for me that I felt like I always have to perform and I just became I don't know burned out already and I felt like I'm not doing good enough and I just I guess I became, I don't want to say depressed, but I guess I became sad and I felt like I'm not doing good enough and I'm not good enough and I stopped filming or I would film once in a month. And as for the sponsorship, it's not that I did a video every time I had a sponsorship, it's more like I did a video only once a month, so the odds of it being sponsored were pretty high, you know what I mean? So it just happened to be and all the brands that I took were amazing and I really wanted to work with them and I couldn't say no so I know how it looks to you guys but I didn't mean for it to look like this but yeah another reason and this is gonna sound a little bit stupid I know is that people would always comment on my looks and say oh you're so pretty and oh my god I wish I looked like you and honestly I appreciate you really made me feel good about myself but at the same time I'm not used to relying on my looks that was never the case for me before I guess it's connected to my childhood and stuff it gave me some kind of identity crisis I didn't know what to do because I was used to being a personality and all of a sudden I'm this girl that is 
just looks and that's it and what i did first i tried to still like show you who i am but it was unnoticed and i still got only comments on my looks so i thought okay then fuck it i'm just gonna be that pretty girl that has no personality if that's what people want me to be and i started doing videos that are just not me like I get it, I was pretty useful in them, but I didn't say anything or comment anything that was like my opinion, it was just very robot-like and I didn't love it, I, that's why I stopped filming as often, I just felt like I had nothing to offer to this world anymore and I know it sounds weird and stupid, but I'm collecting myself again and I think I'm gonna try again and be myself and see how it works for me, maybe in future people will notice me or who I am rather than looks anyways I don't want to bore you guys to death so let's just switch the station I got rid of this is a lot for me because I usually can't even get rid of shoes that I wore like seven years ago so proud of myself oh no I mean I'm happy but I'm sad at the same time because the foster um, system or whatever just texted me saying they have an adopter for Elias uh, I'm not ready to give him yet but I mean I'm happy for him it's always good when they find forever homes but <laughs> Why now? <laughs> Bye. This is so cute. We're gonna miss you. We're gonna miss you so much. I'm at the park right now with my friend Lana. We both go by Lana, but I prefer Ru or Ru's Lana, and she's just Lana. <laughs> And what we're gonna do today is draw because we both love painting and we decided why not do it together at the park because I don't know it's a mood why not <laughs> I just feel like being a main character today <laughs> I was like very interested in Greek mythology I mean always but right now I'm just so into it and I watch all those YouTube videos explaining it and I stumbled upon this comic book or something I don't Show know me how it's called wow you know it's gonna be hard to draw yeah but i want to try <laughs> i want to try drawing um her name is minte and she's from lore olympus which i never read before but i kind of want to because it looks so cool <gasps> and i'm into female bodies <laughs> it's dying <gasps> no well we have my camera i don't understand how you're the worst like how are you preparing for life those are all the tools we're gonna use <laughs> lana already started painting hers and it looks very good so far here's mine it's just a sketch <laughs> 